Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. So I told you guys I would get back to you about the DEF CON level. Well, from all information that I can gather in the last three or four days, <clears throat> I really think we're at DEF CON 3. Um, DEF CON 3 is uh, pretty serious. There's only two more levels before full-scale war. So from all information that I'm getting, uh, you know, everybody's uh, been leaving comments and everything. So this pretty much coincides with what what's is going on in the world. So let me read you the levels, what they say about three, and uh, let me uh, get on the level deal and go down. Um, Defcon one, two, um, Defcon three, Roundhouse. So let me click on that real quick. So let's go down and read you what it says. He says, DEFCON 3, or Condition Level 3, has also been called the Roundhouse or Yellow Alert. It, it is an increased in alertness and military readiness. With DEFCON 3, the Air Force is in a higher state or level of readiness so that they can deploy and mobilize within 15 minutes of time. The alert color for DEFCON 3 is yellow or yellow alert level. This means... Behind DEFCON 3 is similar to that of a yellow caution sign. We are prepared, cautious, and in a state of military readiness. Roundhouse is a state of preparedness at a high level of caution. The alert status may be raised to DEFCON 3 after a precision strike is carried out by an enemy or after a precision strike is carried out by the United States military or any event that warrants a cautious state of military readiness alert level by U.S. forces. So that is what I think we're in right now. Uh, if you look at what's going on around the world, uh, the entire European theater is on high alert. NATO is on high alert. Britain, uh, the France, uh, they're all on high alert. So wouldn't that mean that we are on, on some kind of elevated alert status? Also, I talked to my brother last night. He is a retired Navy pilot, and uh, he kind of uh, says that he thinks that... Uh, you know, we uh, probably are in DEFCON 3. I don't know if we're in DEFCON 2. That's getting really serious. But I think you can pretty much safely say that we are in 3 right now. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Let me read you also. Um, this is from one of our uh, for, uh, former military, U.S. military. He lives in Germany right now. He goes by the name of Crazy. He says, Paul, we are in DEFCON 3 as of yesterday. According to my nephew, an entire brigade is on standby, on 72-hour standby right now. He has connections. He recently got out of the service. My other nephew is in the Navy. DEFCON uh, level says level 3. If it goes to 2, get ready. So that's what I think is going on right now. I do think that we are in DEFCON 3, a high state of alert. And just go, if you have been listening to my channel for the last two or three weeks, you know that we are got to be at least at a three with all the military moves going on, uh, the Russian moves going on all around the world. So we do have a little bit more breaking news. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, Egypt. Egypt is the country of the pharaohs and the pyramids. Well, just morning, Egypt has put their entire navy on a war footing and launched almost their entire navy heading for the Mediterranean Sea. It says, uh, CC threatens Turkish ships. The Egyptian fleet is on the battlefield after Turkish provocation inside Greece and Egypt. So um, for you guys that don't know, Turkey uh, is a main sponsor of, um, of the Muslim Brotherhood. And I don't know if you guys remember under Obama and Hillary Clinton, uh, they allowed Turkey to send in the Muslim Brotherhood, there's a lot in Egypt, to take over and, and overthrow Mubarak, the elected leader. So that's another country that our CIA had overthrown Mubarak. Now, Sisi, General Sisi, was their military general, and he led the military to throw out the Muslim Brotherhood in um, in Egypt and arrest a lot of them and kill a lot of them, you know, put them to death. And Egypt is not a friend of Turkey. So this morning, uh, they deployed almost their entire navy and all of their submarines and heading toward the Mediterranean, toward Turkish territory. Let me read you this. By decision of President Sisi, 
The Egyptian fleet went on the battlefield in the Mediterranean a few hours ago after planned Turkish provocation in the uh, demarcated uh, Greece-Egypt zone. CC is showing strength. Uh, show of strength was heard as far as Ankara. It could not be done otherwise just to see what the forces that Egypt mobilized. Uh, says Turkish media broadcast the fact that they connect directly with the recent developments in the Mediterranean while noting that there was no obvious explanation for this great mobilization. The Egyptian fleet in the Mediterranean is on the battlefield. Video and images released by the Egyptian Ministry of Defense show the mobilization of the enormous firepower. Specifically, Egypt has almost emptied their entire naval station, mobilized what is the most modern in its arsenal. Three Type 209 uh, one, uh, 1,400 submarines, two Type 033 Romeo-class submarines, two Minstrel LHD helicopter aircraft carriers, two Bergani class uh, Fram frigates, one Fram frigate of uh, Aquatine class, two Gowin class corvettes, and two Olive Harry uh, Hazard Perry class frigates. So I, I'm going to be doing my uh, my update later today, and I'll be covering all this. But these are the latest developments uh, going on. Egypt has just deployed almost its entire navy to confront Turkish warships in the Mediterranean. Like I said, when this war breaks out, it's going to be on multiple, multiple fronts. And uh, it doesn't look like it's getting any better. So I just wanted to bring in this breaking news. Just remember that Jesus Christ is coming back. And uh, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess, folks, when he comes back. Because he's not coming back as a lamb. He's coming back as a king and a lion. So all this stuff is leading up to that. So God bless you. I will be back later today. And I will leave the links in the description box so you can fact check me uh, just to make sure I'm not giving you any fake news. You know, you don't want to have no fake news. So um, here we go.